Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about lines and angles. Our objective is to identify relationships between figures in space and to identify angles formed by two lines and a transversal. Let's start with parallel lines. Parallel lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect. Line AD is parallel to line CB. And take note of this arrow on the line and this arrow on this line over here. This arrow symbolizes that these lines are parallel and it has to have the same number of arrows. So we have one arrow here, one arrow here. That means these two lines are parallel to each other. And I've drawn in a plane to show you that these are clearly coplanar lines. We would write it line AD is parallel to line BC. And again, take note of this symbol here. This just means that these lines are parallel. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect to form right angles. Line AE is perpendicular to line EF. And we would just write it, line AE is perpendicular to line EF. And again, we have a new symbol here. This just means that these lines are perpendicular. Skew lines, well, I like to say that skew lines are all skewed up. They don't have anything in common with anything. They are non-coplanar, not parallel, and will never intersect. An example would be line AD. It is skew to line CG. If we were to continue drawing these lines in this diagram here, they would intersect. But remember, we are modeling a three-dimensional surface, so in space, these lines would never actually intersect. And we would just write it, line AD and line CG are skew. Parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. So the top plane in blue, plane ABCD, is parallel to the bottom plane that is in blue, plane EFGH. Transversal. It is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at distinct points. So here we have line L and line M. They are clearly coplanar. A transversal would be this line in red, line T. It is intersecting two or more lines at distinct points. So this point here and this point here. Again, this red line is the perfect example of a transversal. Now let's look at alternate interior angles. Before we look at the definition, let's look at an example. Angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. They are non-adjacent, so clearly they are not right next to each other. Interior angles, and interior just means in between line L and line M, and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. So one is on the left side, one is on the right side. Another example of alternate interior angles would be angle three and angle five. Same side interior angles are interior angles that lie on the same side of the transversal. The name says it all. So in this example, angle three and angle six are same side interior angles. Again, they're on the same side of the transversal and they are in between line L and line M. Another example of same side interior angles would be angle four and angle five. Corresponding angles. Well, first let's look at an example. Angle one and angle five are corresponding angles. They lie on the same side of the transversal, so these are both to the left of the transversal and in corresponding positions. So this is on the top of line L on the left side, and this is on the top of line M, so they are in corresponding positions. Another example of corresponding angles would be angle two and angle six. These are both on the right side of the transversal, and they are on the top of the line, top of the line. Angle three and angle seven 
are also examples of corresponding angles. And lastly, we have angle 4 and angle 8. Alternate exterior angles. Well, can you guess without me even showing you by just looking at the name? Well, they are non-adjacent exterior angles that lie on opposite sides of the transversal. So angle 1 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles. They are on the exterior, on the outside of line L and line M, and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Angle 2 and angle 8 are also examples of alternate exterior angles.